Hello and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2 following my career Farquhar Freights, a subsidiary of SD Logistics International Haulers. Today you join me, we are still in Edinburgh where we left off before. I've had a little kit, we've uh, done a little bit of work on the truck and the trailer because that was starting to wear down, we've done a few miles. Now since we're in Edinburgh and there is a garage here for sale. I thought we'd drive over and see if we could purchase that. I think we've got enough money. So uh, let's head over there and let's have a look and see if we can expand our company. And then what we're going to need to do is try and rack up some contracts, earning some money so we can uh, buy trucks and hire drivers. So I think we've got quite a few garages now that aren't exactly full of drivers and trucks. But a truck is sometimes more expensive than a garage. So, let's see if we can buy it. Oh, we can buy it. So we shall say yes. And I think that's a, a small, isn't it? That's not medium. That's just a small garage that might just only have, uh, have room for us. Which is absolutely fine. But with that purchase, that does bring us down to just seven grand. That's, that's not a lot of money. Not with the way I drive, apparently. So if we go to our garage manager, you can see we've got Edinburgh and Newcastle that are empty. Norwich is empty. Le Mans only got 22, or Le Mans. Uh, Cambridge is uh, four. We've got one empty space there. Stockholm's only got one. So we need to, we need to be pushing on getting some more drivers, which means getting some more trucks. And that's not going to be easy to do because within the confines of this Conquering Britain challenge, we are only doing deliveries from within Great Britain. England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland. So it's we've, we've got a lot of work to do. We've got a lot of miles to put on the clock. So uh, let's not mess about anymore. Let's crack on and earn some money. And I have managed to grab us a contract delivering 17 tonnes of sausages from here in Edinburgh over to Larn in Northern Ireland. Let's make sure it's safe to go. Now I think I've already said before, I'm going to try and be a better driver for this, <laughs> for this challenge, for this series. How that's going to work, I don't know. But we need to incur less fines, we need to do less speeding, because it's taking money away from us. Keep left, and then turn left. I think this Re is our spot. Oh well, no, it's not our spot. That's not a good start, is it? Driven into the wrong... Uh, <laughs> to the wrong depot. Not for the first time, I'm not gonna lie. Keep left and then turn left. Fortunately, not a lot of traffic for us. It's the uh, the next <laughs> the next deeper well. Turn left. Just as I was saying, <laughs> I need to be a better driver. Is it here? It is here. There we go. We'll get this. There we are. Safe and sound. Safe and sound. Right, so I'll show you. We are Sausages to Larn. That's uh, going to pay us 11,000. It's 289 miles. So that's uh, ferry distance 34 miles. We'll take it. Fully loaded with sausage at the back. Not something you expect to say on a regular basis, but we are, and we are fit to go. Now, our ferry crossing point is about five and a half hours away, so we should be good to rest because we rested before we head out. How's that looking over there? Turn left. 
Doesn't give us the best of angles, does it? Now we've spent a little bit of time uh, trying to adjust my mirrors, so hopefully they're going to be a little better position for me. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Will do, my friend. Yeah, we've adjusted the uh, the mirrors. Exit I've now. even repositioned myself a little bit, got a better view of the cab. Hopefully, that's going to improve things. Encourage better driving, which is what we want. And also, in an attempt to encourage better driving, I've also loosened the stiffness of the truck. So the truck's not so stiff, the trailer's not so stiff. stiff. So we're going to have to be a little bit more cautious. I think we're down to about 50%. On American Truck Simulator, I run it at 60, 65, I think, for both truck and trailer. He was talking about this a while back with um, Rusty while we were on a convoy. I think he has his a lot lower. Uh, but on, on here, I think I was at about 80%, which is a very stiff, which was allowing me to probably take corners a lot quicker than I should, no doubt. I'm in the wrong lane here as well. <laughs> dear oh dear so uh, yeah we'll we'll see how this goes this may result in us uh, having a roll or something while I get used to the new feel of the truck I've also increased the uh, the head turn with the steering so that as we as we move we'll look a little bit more I'm just trying to find ways that I can improve on my my skills and abilities. I just think something like that might help. Try to cover the the blind spots a little bit better with our mirrors. I was doing a little bit of this on my uh, my second ETS2 profile, and then as I set it about and I was doing things, I then realised that that truck is on left-hand drive because it's in Europe. <laughs> so right. it's had to try things different here for this truck. So we need to move over. Go straight. Is he let me out? I think he is. If he's not, he's gonna get squished. Thanks, sir. So yeah, we'll see how it goes, but we, we need to crack on, we need to be making money, we need to get ourselves trucks more drivers I say seven grand in the bank is not a lot at all see how that goes back over yeah I've been having fun with the uh, with the company guys on uh, logistic convoys and really fun do you get to find out a little bit more about yourself during them um, yeah turns out I'm, I'm sort of quite perceived as a poor driver who would have thought <laughs> oh, so I've got to change the reputation I've got I, did, I, never, I never got into the trucking to be seen as like the best most you know most professional but I didn't didn't uh, <laughs> think I'd come across as that bad But I will add, I also do not drive IRL. I haven't haven't driven a vehicle for quite some time now. All, all my driving is simulated. <laughs> Definitely going to try and be more mindful of speeds as well. Always seem to have a heavy foot, always have. Now, one of the guys was saying that he uses his cruise control a lot and has that set at increments of five because, as a rule, uh, speeds change up and down. So, sort of five and ten miles per hour. So, we might find that we try and adapt that a little bit. I think in America it probably works better and on the continent. For ETS, it may work better because you have a lot longer straighter roads where you're coming off a lot less. Here, 
in the UK, in Great Britain. I mean, it's a small island. We, we do a lot of lane changing. We have a lot of uh, junctions on roads, off ramps, and stuff like that. So, how that would work? Go on, sir. You're not going to let me come out. He's still right there. He's still right there. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> it's, it's going well. And he's now going to pull out and try and get past. Uh, so I need to pull out as well. It's craziness. That dude overtook me so he could turn left across me. Oh, I don't understand. It's always me though. I'm always the, always the one in the fold. But I hope you're well. I hope you're enjoying the return of the ETS. I'm trying to get a few of these out on the schedule. So we don't fall behind with it, make some progress. Like I said, once we get far enough ahead, I might try and double down on these each week. Because the trips aren't necessarily long, but I think if we do a 20-30 minute video, that's, that's still you know that's a good length of time. That's all we generally ran. I, I've never been one to run massive uh, deliveries. If we do, we break it down into two, three, four episodes. So I just think that's that's fine. We'll, we'll see as the series go on in trying to uh, conquer Britain whether we then take it so that we can maybe do a delivery outside of the UK but then have to get a delivery back I don't know is that cheating too much I do want to focus on the Britain I want to get the roads in Britain and everything done get our garages, get our drivers I may do some jobs off screen just so we can progress with the uh, with the finances. Again, let me know down in. I won't do that until I've got some feedback off this episode. But let me know down in the comments how you feel about me doing some UK deliveries on this profile off screen. I don't think since this profile started, probably two and a half years ago, maybe three. I'm not sure, yeah, about two and a half years ago. I don't think I've done a single delivery um, off screen. I think everything has been recorded on this profile. So you have to let me know how you feel about that. That's why we're not like crazy levels high and, you know, rolling in cash. Because there's there's no earnings off screen. If we don't earn it in the video, you, right, it's, it's not there. We can do that just to sort of speed it along. I don't know. I could show you. I could do like you know some delivery uh, screens. Just pop them up as we drive along. I tell you about some of the trips. Once again, that's what the comments is for. Give me some feedback on that. I want to know what you want to see going forward with this series because I am enjoying being back in the truck. I'm enjoying doing the deliveries and driving around the UK. I like driving <laughs> in the right hand side of the cab on the left hand side of the road. It's normal, it's more natural. I know I haven't driven in a while, but this is it. This, this is how I know to drive. At the time of recording this, we haven't had one yet. We're hoping, we're hoping to get a, a ETS2 SD Logistics convoy up and going. A few of the, uh, the US based drivers have picked up or have a copy of ETS2 now and it's just uh, just making sure everyone's got sort of enough of the DLCs that we can run pro mods as well because ETS2 without pro mods just isn't the same it's not the same creature especially for the UK section and certain parts because the SCS part of the UK is probably the weakest left, part of the game I'd say exit left. Personally, Excellent. mainly because none of the roads feel like British roads. They feel like European continental roads. I sort of covered this a lot um, before I added pro mods to the profile and um, after and during. So that's that's often been why the series takes a step back here while I wait for pro mods to update. We are running the latest version of pro mods and the latest version of ets2 at the moment we are 
I, I don't have the um, so Western Baltics. I haven't got that installed at the, at, at the time of me recording that. Recording this, that is the latest um, SCS expansion. But because ProMod still overwrites all of that map anyway, um, I've not, left. I've not purchased it yet. As soon as you know, ProMod's updates and no longer overwrites that whole DLC, then I will get it, and we'll run the SCS part of that as well. Show Pro Mods uh, will be busy adding parts to it and making it connect to whatever they've got, all the Western Baltics area, to work with what um, SCS are adding in. I believe the SCS that is are working on adding more of Turn sort of right. southern Europe to the game as well. Again, another big part that Pro Mods have built and have had there for many a years now. I think ProMods is now 10 years old. I think this game is 12, 13. ProMods is 10 years old. So they added a lot to this game over the years. And obviously as they were doing it, now they, maybe the, the, the overhauls that are required in updating their map to uh, coincide with whatever SCS decide to put out an ad. Dude, you, you can't come up on me like that. You can see I've got to come out. I can see you back there. Could do with uh, dropping a mile or two a, an hour. There we go. Let's see if we get the old cruise control on. Are doing. Yeah, that's right. See, another roundabout. That's why I don't worry about cruise control in the UK. At the we have a lot of roundabouts. So you're constantly switching it on and off. But the the whole. I have set my cruise control to the um, five mile an hour increments for up and down. So, should we uh, <laughs> ever eventually get back into Europe and get on those larger roads, we can uh, relax a little bit more and just do it that way. I've just not been a big user of the cruise control. I've just been a big user of my heavy right foot. <laughs> apparently. No, apparently about it. It's factual. It's getting a bit grey over there. Looks like we've got rain on the horizon. And since we are spending a lot more time in the UK, I've also increased our chance of rain. Uh, it's set at, I think, 25%. I may even increase it to 50% because these days you can flip a coin on whether you're going to get wet or not. <laughs> I think this is our exit. Now those in the uh, in the VTC, this will give those a uh, an idea as to how far ahead I'm trying to record these episodes. Just the other day, I got my first, as a five star, my first five star um, rating on my trips on ATS for the achievement. Uh, so that's like over 600 miles without speeding, without any collisions, without any traffic light infringements. I only just got that. It took me 12 months, 12 months to do that. And it, oh, I was so impressed with it. I took a screenshot. Uh, because it was an 1800 mile delivery. Now I don't do a lot of long deliveries. But sometimes things get a little bit, although there's no real pressure to rack up mileage and to to be number one in, in the VTC and stuff like that. Sometimes a little bit of smack get talked and it gets a little bit friendly banter in who's going to be top. Especially if someone knows they've got a little bit of time time off work coming up or a bit of a vacation and some free time. And they're like, oh yeah, going to go for the top spot, taking that. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's nice sometimes to get a big one in and uh, try and make a push for it. I, t <laughs> I did tell them that me not being top spot is 100% down to personal choice. Because I don't have to go to work, I don't have to do this, that and the other. And I could just drive all day if I wished. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, uh, so I did take two rather large jobs where I just sat and I drove all day. Um, at the time of recording this, there's, there's not like no clothes. That I think it might be just for the month we're we're we're, we're aiming for, but I think I'm sitting second. Some uh, one of the other guys was was all, already about twenty thousand miles ahead of me in distance for the month within like <laughs> two weeks. So. I don't expect to get top this month, but I might, I might make a push. Uh, maybe March or April. Perhaps we'll have a a couple of weeks or a week on the channel where we dedicate a lot of time and a lot of content to trucking. Where we'll do the speeding. Where we'll maybe do uh, a couple of extra ETS trips in the series maybe get an ETS convoy on the go and um, plenty of ATS streams because as a rule I stream ATS might do a little bit of recorded content I've done, I've done a little in the past I'd just like to mix it up by having that streamed a stream to content stream to game and this one is sort of pre-recorded mainly it'll only be with um, the SD logistics guys if I if I do a do a stream and a convoy as a rule the convoys go out on a Sunday and um, Simu Dad does stream them he's SD logistics owner uh, so that, that goes out on his channel but there's there, there is no rule to say that anyone else who's in in the company can't do an SD logistics convoy it's just that he has a set Sunday evening thing because he knows that's when the American guys can get on this way, and um, a few of the British guys uh, can get on and, and do it in an evening. I have hosted, I think, two uh, when um, Simi Dad hasn't been available, so I don't mind doing it. It is a good laugh, good crack. So, yeah, if you're interested in joining a VTC, come and join us at SD Logistics. Like I always say, there's no maximums, no minimums per week, per month, you drive as and when you like. If you get a race speed, you get race speed, that happens. If you get fines and crashes, that happens. Can't worry about it, it's a game, it's supposed to be fun. Like I say, there's a little bit of friendly banter in there now and then. Trying to push people to uh, get a few more miles or, or trying to get people onto ETS rather than ATS because ATS is the more popular title within the company. I think at the point of recording this, we're sitting at around 6, 15, 16 drivers. Um, and like I say, not, not everyone's active all the time. We have a few drivers that sort of drift in and out, different months. Uh, some of them are content creators as well, so it depends on what they're doing on their channels and, and what, what, what their interests are and what's doing well for them at the time. And like I say, it's all good. Uh, there is, for ETS, we do have this trailer. We are hoping that we can get a nice trailer for ATS as well. But a carbon copy of this one would be absolutely fine. Uh, one of the drivers made this for us. So whether he wants to do that as well for ATS, whether this converts over to ATS, I don't know. But that would be cool. Get on the convoy, everyone running the trailers. But if not, we can do it for an ETS convoy, everyone running trailers. So yeah, come and join us. Uh, if you want details for it, there should be a link to SD Logistics down in the description or head over to Simudad's channel and uh, he'll have everything there or search in Trucksbook SD Logistics. There is a dedicated Discord for it. I say there are one or two skins. You don't have to have a skin on. Um, when we drive on stream, we've all got our own trucks. They all look different. It's, it's part of your personality, uh, you know, I, I drive with my Farquhar freight trucks, I think Simi Dad, he has an SD Logistics truck in colours, I don't think it's, it's got any of the logos or anything on, I think I've got more SD Logistics logos on my ETS and my ATS truck than anyone, uh, the guys just do what they like. No one is forced to, uh, to rep the brand. Here's that rain I was talking about. Get ready to turn right. Will do. Stranray. 
I'm from the UK and I don't even know where that is. Oh, right. I thought the uh, the policeman was going to flash me through and let me go. Are we on that bus? Not bad. Loads of room. Sorry, I'm losing my voice. Going right here. Okay, we are looking for ooh, the ferry port. That's what we're looking for. Taking it easy in the wet. I, mean, I slide about with um, the truck sets I used to have in the wet. So how it'll feel now. Lord, he only knows. Nice, uh, nice little town. Don't think I've driven here before. Went a bit quick, I think, but no, we're not. It's a 40. It's fine. Now we're in a 60 50. 60 50. This is that, that symbol for anyone who's not from the UK. That is national speed limit, so. The fact that that's a 50 and not a 60. Oh, I can feel it. Let's take this a little bit easier, I think. We have 17 tons of sausage. We're feeling a bit wavy in the wet. <laughs> Our sausage is slipping everywhere now, it's all wet. <laughs> oh, it's a. Terrible, terrible, sacrable. Save that for when we head back to France. Get ready to turn left. Poised, mate. I'm poised to turn left. Slow right down. Turn left. Now this looks a little bit tight. So uh, might have to go a little. What? Oh no, it's not too bad. It's when you get round and there's a gate or a barrier that doesn't open until you're right up on it. That's when I tend to start to struggle. So, from here... Where do we go? Are we going to the lane? Uh, yeah, the Larn Ferries. Left. Up ahead. There we are, this is us. Parked up, and um, we will get shown where to uh, where to board, I guess. So we have arrived, Northern Ireland. Here we are. We have been to Ireland before, done a few little jobbies around here, and by the looks of it, we just drop this off right in there. Now that looks like that's either a school or a prison. Oh, it says a lot for the the way our schools look in Britain. <laughs> that is some old workhouse. How easy is this gonna take my load? Oh lovely. Perfect, just like that. Like a glove, as they say. Delivery. Perfect. Excellent. 260 miles, nine and a half hours, and we've earned ourselves £11,353 sterling. And by the looks of it, the rest of the company have been plenty busy because we started at seven grand, and we're now at 82 grand, and I just earned 11. So that's really good to see. If we can earn that sort of money every day, we'll have, we can get a new truck sort of every three or four in-game days so kudos to that but that is going to be it for this episode this journey this delivery another one in the bag nice and easy i think that was incident free i think i only caught myself going over the speed limit for about a mile that was only like one or two miles per hour so improvements improvements on the skill set 
Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. Anything you want, I don't mind. <laughs> Throw some insults. Let me know how bad I am. Or if you can notice any sort of improvement over the course of the series, let me know if you think I get better. I should know if I get better, but let me know if you think I get better. Because I didn't think I was as bad as apparently I'm coming across. Um, and again, if you want to come and join SD Logistics, come and have a drive with us. It's a friendly bunch of lads and a lady. We've only got the one. Um, so yeah, come and join us. SD Logistics. Check out Super Dad's channel or the link down in the description. You guys have a wonderful day. And hopefully I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.